Hello, Cawthon Cards community. Hope you all are having a good night. I'm trying to get everything set up here. So just give me a second while I mess with a couple things. Apologize for any loud noises. Peddler wants to talk about Modern Horizons 2. I think it's going to be a huge flop personally. They just put way too much good stuff in it. They're going to charge $1,000 a box. Nobody's going to be able to afford to buy it. Just kidding, Peddler. Looks pretty cool. Um, will be interesting to see uh, if they change rares to Mythic Rarity. Since they are regular rares, maybe they'll only come one in seven packs now. How are you doing tonight, Chaos? Thanks for stopping by on Twitch. Hope you're having a good night. Got both the chats up and running so I can see everything that's going on. That's always good. Um, Got to get my camera focus fixed. Hold on one second, guys. I already have some orders from uh, New Slave City and they're getting four Strixhaven collectors and five Strixhaven set packs. Here's a fun art card we can look at focus for. This is Kazmina. Pull this. Hello, Waffle Fries. Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing tonight? You hanging out at work or are you off tonight? This should get blurry. It does. Now it's crisp. And now we're on autofocus. Sweet. How are you doing, Waffle Fries? I know Peddler's doing good because he got his Modern Horizon fix, even though it's been delayed a week, as has D&D. That just means another week of drafting Strixhaven on Arena, so that's fun. Gonna go ahead and... Uh, 9 to 5, so I'm free as a bird. Just made some burgers. That sounds amazing. Um, new slaves cracking good times. It, it was delayed a week, so anything you were aware of is now out a week. Um, you would order five set packs when I only have four in this box, so I'm gonna have to crack out another one. Peddler had stuffed peppers, that sounds amazing too. What else is going on in y'all's life? I've had a busy work week, um, lots of deadlines, but I've been managing all right. Um, as you can see, for those who are new to the stream, um, up above is what we have available for sale. We have lots of stuff. We have Strixhaven and Caldheim collector set and draft packs. We have Jumpstart packs, Commander Legends packs, and then pretty much all the standard packs as well. Prices are shown there. Shipping is $1 for up to six cards in a plain white envelope. It's $5 for hits only. That's rares, foils, mythics, and anything worth over a dollar. And then, of course, uh, you can get all your cards shipped to you. That's $9. You can hold... Um, I can hold your cards between streams so we can combine on shipping and save. That's definitely an option. Um, Guillermo, thank you for stopping by. Um, excited to see some collector's packs. For Strixhaven, going to get on the website and figure out how to buy some right now. Sweet, that sounds awesome. Just want to verify you're in the United States. Shipping is only um, in the United States. Chaos is happy that fetch lands are going to tank in value. Yeah, if that set gets opened a lot, they're probably going to come down. But only the enemy fetches, not the regular ones. Um, Waffle got stomped last night playing Silver Quill during draft. That's unfortunate. 03. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you can have an amazing deck and go 03 too. So uh, don't think that. I'm not saying that your deck was amazing, but variance is very real in Magic as well. Um, Peddler is going to be drafting Strixhaven during the stream. Wife is already asleep at 8.30. That's kind of crazy. Um, so may as well use my free time wisely. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to open up this collector box and shuffle up the packs so that when New Slave City gets here, we can get straight to opening. going to do the same with that set box. He's got four packs from the old box, then he'll get one pack from the new box. Um, did your wife get her project done? 
had some good matches but just couldn't finish up. I hear that. That happens sometimes. So these come with 12 packs. You got the 12 right there. Gonna mix these up nice and good so nobody knows where anything is. Like these to be as random as possible. Go ahead and grab six and six and put them back in the box. She did great, that's awesome. Um, I still think there'll be a lot of people like Peddler Crack and stuff and Salt and Singles, so I don't think they're gonna be, I don't know. We'll see how much they produce. If it's like another Time Spiral Remastered, might be an issue. Um, Guillermo, if you have any questions, let me know when you're filling that stuff out and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Waiting for uh, New Slave City to show up so we can start cracking his packs. I do have to finish opening up these boxes so we can get the right stuff ready. She had to do an oral presentation, was not thrilled. Peddler's the public speaker. Well, as a salesperson, that makes sense. If anybody wants to hop in, we can uh, open some stuff before New Slave City gets here. Got a Strixhaven set box right here. Take out the hammock as Rudy calls it. I'll shuffle these packs up as well. Get rid of the little holder, we don't want that. Don't think you'll be disappointed cracking. It'll be interesting to see what else comes in the set because like, yes, fetch lands are amazing, but what else is gonna be in there? Is that gonna be like the main value speaker or value proposition for the set? Or is the rest of the set going to be good too? Like, I know counter spells in there. I hate counter spells, so it kind of stinks that that's getting added to modern, but it is what it is. Play mat's a little bigger than the screen shows, but I'm mixing these up. They're doing Diamond Lion or something. I don't know, instead of Lion's Eye Diamond. Well, it's not Lion's Eye Diamond, because that is, uh... I mean, are you guys going to be interested in purchasing Modern Horizons at the prices you've seen? Is that something you're going to want me to purchase for the stream, or do you think you're going to want to, uh... Stay away from that. If you guys are interested, I can pick some up. Let me know if you'd want the set, the draft, or the collectors, and I can see what I can get. Not a reprint, but it's a reprint. I feel like an LGS with all these boxes of cards behind me. Guillermo has uh, jumped in with some fun stuff, as has Waffle Fries. Let's take a look on the back end of things and uh, make sure everything looks good. Looks like I messed up my formula because I'm sure waffle fries order more than that. Um, give me one second guys, gotta do some back end stuff real quick. But feel free to continue chatting about Modern Horizons too. That sounds like a lot of fun.
There we go. We got everything fixed now. I think. Maybe not. Let's look on the back end. Okay, so let's get started. I'm looking on the back end so I can see what was actually submitted. New Slave City, are you here yet? No, it's not your bad. I have some formulas set up and some spreadsheets to automate stuff and uh, oh look, I got it to work. There we go. Except it's saying you guys got double collectors, which I know is not the case. Um, so clearly my formula is a little messed up. Um, see if I can figure that out in two seconds. If I can't, I'm just going to look on the back end to get everything. Let's see if getting rid of this right here works. That did not work. I don't know, that looks right. I don't know. I'll mess with it later, guys. Sorry. Um, so, let's just get started. I'm going to look on the back end over here. Make sure I get everything right that way. So, I do not see New Slave City in chat. So, we're going to move on to the next one. Um, first one I see is Guillermo. So, let's... Uh, take a look and make sure I got what he ordered real quick in the back end and then we will get started if I can find the right tab of what I'm looking for. Okay. What is going on? Oh, I was on the wrong tab, that's why. Okay, here we go. So first one we have Guillermo. Guillermo ordered five strict saving collector packs. Um, so let's start with those. I'll grab those out of the box. MTG Geek, thanks for stopping by. Um, so we have two rows, these have been mixed up. Do you care where they come from or do you wanna roll the dice and see where they come from? That is up to you. We're going for the good stuff. So um, the way it would work if you want to do the dice, we'd roll the dice. If it is um, odds, we'll go from the front left. If it's evens, we'll go from the back right and grab your five packs. If you want to pick specific packs in here, they've already been shuffled, so I'm happy to take out whatever you want. Just let me know. However you want to do it. So we will roll the dice. Odds is front left. Evens is right back. Let's see what we get. We get a 15. Odds is from the front left. So we'll take the front five packs. This is your last chance to object. These are my first Strict Saving collector packs I've opened. So that is exciting. Um, let's go ahead and get the jump start figured out as well. So we have five of those. You have opted for, let me see if I can find it in here. It's only shipping with tracking and two jumpstart packs. I assume we're doing the same roll thing. If you want to object, let me know, but odds is going to be left. Evens is going to be right. Let's roll. We got a 19 right here. Um, so that's going to be from the left. Grab the two from the left right here. And those are going to be your seven packs. Hope everybody's having a good night. I'm excited to crack these and see what we have in here. Yeah, 
And am I saying your name right? I want to make sure, but I believe I am. Let's grab some sleeves. We'll uh, start with some strict saving. And then we'll go to some jump start, do a strict saving, some more jump start, and then finish up with strict saving. How's that sound? Extreme Beer Metal Goblins. Yep, there are goblins on those packs, that's for sure. Okay, so let's get started. Probably want to zoom in just a little bit. And sorry, I do not read Japanese, so we're going to have to do some looking up when it comes to those uh, Japanese alternate art cards. We'll make sure we don't damage anything here. Of course, this pack doesn't open flawlessly, so... it's one way to do it. Got a treasure token in the back and a stonebound mentor in the front. Um, if you want all these comments and uncommon foils, I can send them to you, or if you just want the rares and mythics, let me know. So we have Stonebound Mentor, Defend the Campus, Burrog the Fuddler, Mage Hunter's Onslaught, Silver Quill Campus, Dueling Coach, gotta get these off camera because they're so shiny, um, Golden Ratio, Fractal Summoning, Silver Quill Silencer is our first rare. Followed up by a commander card, they ran Voice of Duality. Um, haven't seen this one before. One, a blue and a red for a 2 2 with Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, gets plus one plus one until on the turn. If you're casting or copying an instant or sorcery spell, causes a trigger ability of a permanent you control trigger. That ability triggers an additional time. That's pretty sweet. Rare's Mythics is good. I do want the Jumpstart Lance too. Not a problem at all. So we'll uh, put the commons and uncommons in a separate pile. If there's something specific you want, let me know. Happy to throw it in. Then we have an Extended Art Prismari Command. That's a beautiful card right there. Have a Shock for our first Etch Foil card. It's really hard to see on camera. But uh, actually, I don't know. There you go. You can kind of see it right there. These little gold pieces right here are etched. Um, up here too, on the top of the shot, kind of hard to show it on camera, but there are little tiny pieces of etching on there. Then we have a single green. This is a rare. Number 111 if somebody wants to look it up. Let me just pull up Scryfall real quick and I'll look it up myself. Um, Peddler might know this one. Channel maybe? No, channel's too green. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Number 111 is Abundant Harvest. Well, you don't have it, it is etched, so we get to add that to your collection. Followed up by a regular pack foil duress. Um, very cool looking card right there. Then we have a foil lesson teaching of the archaics and an elemental treasure token. If you want the tokens, happy to throw those in as well. If not, we'll just send the rares and uh, the mystical archive cards. I assume you want the uncommon uh, archive cards as well. Let me know if you don't, and I can take those out. So, first pack of Strixhaven was fun. Get to see all the different types of arts. Keep the tokens, okay. If there's a special one you see that you want, just let me know. We have a pest token in the back of this pack. Keep all the archive cards, perfect. I figured as much, that's what everybody's going for in these uh, collector packs. Starting out with an eager first year, Moldering Karak, Star Pupil, Reject, Big Play, Master Symmetrist, Grinning Ing or Ignis, not Ingus, Mercurial Transformation Lesson. We have a Foil Rare Pack Foil, Poet's Quill, let me mute that. Sorry about that, guys. As a root Chandler.
Um, this is one of the commander rares. Five and a green for a four six reach. Creature spells you cast cost X less to cast, where X is the amount of life you gained this turn. That's pretty cool. Tap it to gain two life. Then we have an extended art witherbloom command. Looks like you're trying to get all the extended art commands here tonight. Followed up by an etched. Uh, uncommon. I think this is maybe Agonizing Remorse. Let's check it out real quick. It is Eliminate. Most close. But this is an etched card. Hard to tell. But uh, mainly around this text box here and around the creature type or the card type. That is really the only place it's etched on these. Followed up by an etched art grape shot. That's a pretty cool looking card right there. We also have a Foil Opt. This one I'm 99% sure I'm right. Of course, this is the one where it doesn't have the name in English, but I'm 99% sure this is Opt. Um, very cool card. And then a Foil Rare, number 101, Faithless Looting. This is not the um, fancy version. So uh, this Faithless Looting is pretty valuable here. I guess I have the prices here. I might as well tell you as we look at them. Um, that Opt is, according to Scryfall, $7.83. The Faithless Looting is, um, where'd that go? $16.25. Then you have a Spirit Token. Let me go back and look through that first pack and see what those were worth and get those in sleeves. Um, we had number 111. Number 111 was Abundant Harvest. That is uh, $7.37. The Japanese ones are where the money is at, that's for sure. So, out of this pack, we got the Faithless Looting. We got the Op. The Grape Shot. Um, let's look at this one again. This was Eliminate. That's a dollar. And then the Rares. And then you don't want the Commons and Uncommons. Or your Spirit Pest token. Nice art. I, I love the art on the Japanese cards. I do not love the fact that I cannot read them. Um, let's get into a jumpstart pack here, see what we pull. The other faceless looting is just not my personal preference and taste. I'm sure plenty of other people also agree. Come on elves, we can hope. Let's see what we get. We have a pirates, I think that has some good stuff in it. We have Corsair Captain, Charter Course, Curious Obsession, Departed Deckhand, Spectral Sailor, Capture Sphere, Kite Sail Corsair, Pirates Cutlass, Prosperous Pirates, Rashad and Airship, Sailor of Means, Thriving Isle, Read the Tides, Very Cool Pirate Island. Check that out. Um. And then our M21 Islands, no misprints here. Um, that's kind of got a weird line down it. You can see it like right here. So if you want that, be happy to send it that way. Frontier Kitty, thanks for stopping by. You are not alone, uh, Chaos. Let me know what you want out of that pack. Pirate Island is very cool. Um, happy to send whatever you way. I've already got the Pirate Island in your stack. If you want the Thriving Isle, we can send that as well. Um, other than that, I think the big one was the Corsair Captain. If there are any good uncommons you want, let me know. I guess you don't want the Thriving Isle. I'll take that out. Get your stack all tidied up real quick. Okay, so now we're back to Strixhaven for one hot minute. Then we're going to jump back to a pack of Jumpstart. Um, this might be something you want, the Luca Wayward Bonder emblem, if you don't have one yet. Should definitely throw this in. Curious Obsession used to be like three bucks. Yeah, if you want that Curious Obsession, let me know. I'll definitely throw it in your pile for you. Um, 
First Day of Class, Ageless Guardian, Soothsayer Adept, Professor Zumancy, Mage Hunter's Onslaught, Honor Troll, Practical Research, have a rare lesson, Illuminate History. We have a dragon right here, Tanzanir Quandrix. This is not the full art, but this is a foil pack art. Can keep the obsession. Yeah, you'll take the token, perfect. Make sure when we get to the back to pack, I'll put that in your uh, pack. So Tanzanir Quandrix. Um, let me open another tab and I'll take a look at that one. Uh, Strixhaven School of Mages. Let's go to the checklist. On that dragon roll. Yeah, I've opened up four personally for myself and then just got this one for you. So that's great. This is number 240. Um, Tanzanir Quandrix is not one of the more expensive ones. It's $5 foil, but that's still five bucks. We'll uh, see what's next. We have Revival Experiment. This is a commander deck rare. Then we have an Ifrit Flame Painter. Extended art, followed by, I know this one, this one is Claim the Firstborn. Um, this is number 100. This one's 96 cents, followed up by a Manatite, number 8. Um, don't think that's worth any big money, unfortunately. Then we have a pack foil, whatever this one is. <laughs> Let's look it up. This is number 98. That is Village Rights. Um, it's around two bucks. And then we have a pack foil sign in blood for English version. Look that one up real quick as well. This one is about a dollar. So no great ones, but you do get that cool Luca token. So we'll get that over to you as well. Guillermo knows. Sorry guys, I don't read Japanese. And these are the first ones we've opened up. So let's get back to jumpstart. See if we can hit another elves pack. If I can open it. Hopefully you're having a good time Guillermo. Definitely appreciate you supporting the stream. It means a lot. Um, let me know if you want me to hold on to these in case you plan to buy more in the future or I can ship them out. So let me know either way. We have a smashing pack. It's not elves, unfortunately. Have a Hamlet pack, Goliath. Never heard of that one before. Sarkhan Unsealing. Furious Rise. Unleash Fury. Blood Rage Brawler. Inferno Hellion. Heartfire Emulator. Onaki Ogre, Turret Ogre, Borderland Marauder, Fling, Thriving Bluff, Bone Pit Brute, Mountain, very cool mountain right there, more like a volcano, as well as our M21 lands, nothing fancy going on there, pull out the rares for you, hopefully it is an elf pack day, unfortunately it was not in these packs, if you want anything else out of that pack, let me know, happy to pull it out for you. So now we're back to the last two Strixhaven packs for Guillermo. I have a pest token in the back. With a fuming effigy in the front. Elemental Masterpiece. Re-Sculpt. Cogwork Archivist. Mage Duel. Academic Dispute. Reflective Golem. Fractal Summoning. Shale, Dean of Radiance is our first rear. This is a flip card with, uh, I believe it's Embros on the back. It is Embros, Dean of Shadow, so that's cool. After that we have Guardian Augmenter. This is the Commander deck rare. Followed up by an Extended Art Conspiracy Theorist. Then we have what I assume is Divine Gambit, but I could be wrong. It is Divine Gambit. Um, don't think that one's too pricey, unfortunately. Then we have a Tendrils of Agony, number 34. Followed up by a single green. This is number 120. 
This is Snakeskin Veil. It's the alternate art foil version. Have a Mythic Foil Natural Order. That one is worth, uh, I believe, twenty three fifty five. Let's check on TCG Player for that. Um, TCG player is too confusing. There's so many things, but it, it's um, 14 something regular. It's more in foil. So that's a great hit. Then we have that elemental token in the back. Let's get this in a sleeve for you. So the elemental pest token. Move the commons and uncommons to the pile you don't want. And we'll get to our next pack. This is the last uh, pack for Guillermo right now. Let's hope we get some good stuff. Always love ending on a good note. I have a treasure in the back. And infused with vitality in the front. Square up. Witherbloom Pledge Mage. Expel. Field Trip. Divide by zero. Lorehold Apprentice, Spirit Summoning, Vanishing Verse is our first rare. Have Guardian Archon. Let me know how the um, volume is on everything, guys, as far as sound goes. And we have an extended art Augmenter Pugilist with these are collector packs of Strict Saven. Echoing Equation on the back. Don't want to spoil that next card. Which happens to be your revitalize. Not the best, but we'll take it. Then we have a single white rare number 71. Well, let's see what that is. I'm sure uh, Peddler's going to shout out here. That is Mana Tithe. Um, it's a decent hit. We'll get that in the sleeve. Cracking good times. Rang in just in time. Mana Tithe, so did MTG Geek. Um, I guess we'll see what the next one is when we uh, take this to sleeve it. Next up, we have a pack foil English eliminate. And then our, uh, I think there's one more archive card. No, we have a foil extended art biblioplex. That's pretty cool. Then a fractal treasure token. So we'll go back through your hits real quick. This will be everything I am uh, shipping to you. Let me know if you want me to hold on to these in case you plan on buying more on a future stream. We have a uh, Biblioplex, an Eliminate, uh, Manatith, Revitalize, Augmenter Pugilist, Guardian Archon, Vanishing Verse, Natural Order, Snakeskin Veil, Tendrils of Agony, uh, I just said what this was, but I forget. The fine no, um that stupid meme card. Divine Gambit. Conspiracy Theorist, Guardian Augmenter, Shale Dean of Radiance, Pact Foil, Sarhands Unsealing, Hamletback Goliath, uh Volcano, Luca Token, Foil Sign and Blood, um Whatever this one was, Manatite, Flame the Firstborn, E Fruit Flame Painter. Revival Experiment, Foil Tanzanier Quandrix, Illuminate History, Corsair Captain, Pirate Island, Witherbloom Command, Ezra Root Chandler, Foil Poet's Quill, um, Eliminate, Grape Shot, Etched Foil, uh, The Nice Faithless Looting, <laughs> Foil Opt, uh, Abundant Harvest, I think, Teaching of the Archaics, Duress, Pack Foil, Shock, Etched Foil, Prismari Command, Baron Voice of Duality, and Silver Quill Silencer was our first foil rare. Ship them out. Sounds good. I will probably get them out on Saturday, um, but they'll be headed your way shortly. So thank you very much for supporting the stream. If you ever want more, you know where to find us. Let's see who is next. Is uh, New Slave City here yet? If they are, we can get going with him. Otherwise, uh, Waffle Fries is up next. Switch back over so I make sure I'm getting everything right. Waffle Fries has sent some money, that's always good. Uh, 
Um, get to the right tab. So Waffle Fries has one jump start. He's combining shipping. Um, and two Strict Haven collector packs. Remind me, Waffle Fries, I don't remember off the top of my head. I think you did the hits only shipping, if I remember correctly. Waffle Fries, are you around? Waffle, Waffle Fries. Cracking Good Time says, good pulls, Guillermo. Yeah, I agree, those are decent. Peddler was in Arena, sleep at the wheel. That's a bummer. Another one, those are collector packs. Hits only, okay. Well, let's get our... Uh, a Strixhaven box up here. So, do you want to uh, roll the dice here, or do you want to uh, have your pick at PAX? Um, odds would be from the left going from front to back, and evens would be from the right coming from the back. Waiting for the YouTube lag to clear up. Dice roll. We have seven. So that is the last pack in the left column and the front pack in the right column. So we got our two strict saving collectors. Then we have jump start. We got one pack of jump start. Um, do the same dice roll. Odds from the left, evens from the right. And another odds, number three. So, we'll grab from the left. Get a slip made up. So we are opening for waffle fries. Um, let's start with a Strixhaven, go to Jumpstart, and then go back to Strixhaven. Pause. Thanks for uh, checking in. Uh, glad to see you here. It's going well. We're opening up some fun packs for people. We have Strixhaven collectors, and then uh, we also have been opening up some Jumpstart. So best of luck to you, Waffle Fries. Appreciate you supporting the stream. means a lot to me. We have an avatar token in the back. I think that's one of the rare ones. If you want that, be happy to send it to you. Unfortunately, it's got that like print roller line down it, but that's normal with uh, the, what you call it. Um, you can get all these foil uncommons and commons if you want them. They are part of the hits only shipping, but if you don't want them, it does cut down on the bulk. So let me know either way uh, what you want out of this pack and I will get it sent to you. Uh, starting with a dragon's approach. Cram Session, Teach by Example, Lash of Malice, Needlethorn Drake, Show of Confidence, Deadly Brew, Expanded Anatomy Lesson, and our first rare is Retriever Phoenix, that's a fun one. Our next rare is Keen Duelist, this is a Commander Rare. Um, there's a lot of words, but it looks pretty cool and it is Extended Art. Then we have the Bibliopex Extended Art Non-Foil version. Love the token, definitely get that to you. Um, this one is, I have a headache. That's what it's called. It's called, I have a headache. Um, 92, I think it's maybe duress. It is duress. That one's worth a couple bucks. Guillermo's gonna re-roll, trying to get me an English faithless looting. Sounds good, Guillermo. Make sure you select that uh, $0 I already paid for shipping. And then we have a uh, rare etched foil memory lapse. Followed up by a foil, pack foil defiant strike. And then Tezzard's Gambit. I know this because it has the Phyrexian mana symbol. Um, number 84. Nice couple bucks right there. And we have the token you wanted. Jerry loves Faithless Looting. I don't know why it's so hated. I think it was just so unexpected. 
Uh, so we'll definitely get you all of these Mystical Archive cards. If you want these common and uncommons, let me know. Happy to ship them to you. Otherwise, um, we'll cut the bulk out, but let me know either way. So now we're jumping to Jumpstart. Hopefully we get something fun here. Above the clouds. With an Inez, the Gale Force. You know you'll want the rare. Unsubstantiate, Warden of Evos Isle, Reign of Revelation, Tide Skimmer, King Glide Master, Roaming Ghost Light, Rookie Mistake, Capture Sphere, Wall of Runes, uh, Thriving Isle, Mistral Singer, Lofty Denial, and then the very cool Above the Clouds Island just hanging out in the sky with some waterfalls. Get that to you as well. And then we have our M21 lands, nothing fancy going on there. Just hit some jumpstart lands, so we will keep the foil commons and uncommons. Definitely make sure to get you all the mystical archives and the rares. That is a gorgeous island. You are very correct, Waffle Fries. Um, my buddy and I bought a jumpstart pack on Tuesday from the same box and pulled Phyrexian art at the same time. That is absolutely insane, Chaos. Congratulations on that. Um, I need to move that chat up a little bit so I can see it better because it's right behind my light and uh, new ones don't pop up very easy. So we got that fixed. We have a pest token in the back. If you want that, let me know. Um, we have Make Your Mark, Enthusiastic Study, Exhilarating Elocution, Leyline Invocation, Arrogant Poet, Mage Hunter, Humiliate, Introduction to Prophecy Lesson. Our first year is Kiani, Dean of Substance. You wonder why she's the Dean of Substance. Just take a look at her outfit. That should tell you all you need to know. Her backside is Ibrahim, Dean of Theory. Very fun. I actually drafted two of those in the same draft. That was a fun draft. Um, so we'll get that sent to you. Next up, we have a Geometric Nexus Extended Art Commander card. Very cool looking artwork right there. No clue what it does. That has to be a Tetch Valentine of Substance. I'm sure it was. Wizards is definitely a West Coast company, so uh, say that's anything but intentional would probably be lying. Then we have an extended art Cody Vociferous Codex. We have uh, Etched Art Adventurous Impulse. We have a number 105. Paging number 105. That is a lightning bolt. That is a huge hit. Um, it says it's 36 bucks. That's crazy. Congratulations. Um, wow, that's awesome. We'll get that in a sleeve, but first let's see what the next one is. Uh, pack Art Shock. Goes well with Lightning Bolt. Then we have a number 106. Number 106 is a mythic, and that is Mizzet's Mastery. That's another 16 bucks. So this pack alone paid for virtually everything. That's 50 bucks in just two cards. And then you have that elemental token. Let's get these last two sleeved up for you. You've got a bolt collection. Well, now you have another artwork. This box has been pretty good to us so far. Rocking Good Times says good pulls. Bolt is definitely a good card to collect. You now have the etched art version. So congratulations on that. Let me know if you want that uh, elemental pest token. Happy to throw that in. We'll be uh, throwing the commons and the uncommons, the non-archive ones into the donate pile. I will add this to your stack waffle fries. Let me know if you ever want me to ship them out and I will. So those sir were your three packs and they have, uh, you'll take the token too. Great, perfect. Let's uh, get waffle fries here. Next up, we have Extreme Beer Metal. Are you here in chat? Go ahead 
go ahead and send you the loot. Okay, I will finally ship out to you, Waffle Fries. Thank you very much for supporting the stream. I'm going to make a note to ship your stuff. Probably be on Saturday with Guillermo. Okay, so let's see. Thanks to all who are buying this, scratching my chunky itch. I'll still be buying packs, but I need that bolt. Um, totally understand. Um, extreme beer metal. If you're in chat, drop a note. did see the order come through, but I've not seen PayPal come through. I'm going to log into my PayPal account real quick and double check. Guillermo wants to miss its mastery. If you saw anything he pulled that you're interested in, let me know. I can switch cards and piles while everything is still here right in front of us. I'm not seeing the payment through from Extreme Beer Money, so we're going to pass him up until uh, he gets back with us. Send him a note afterwards. Looks like uh, Guillermo opted for another five Strict Saven Collectors and two Jumpstart Packs. Get some Guillermo, yeah. Waffle fries, you still around, bud? Waffle fries might have been so excited he had to go tell everybody about his cool new lightning bolt. Well, I got some good news for you, Guillermo. There are five packs left in this box, so there is no choosing that needs to be done. Um, so we're done with a box of Strict Saving Collectors already. That is kind of crazy. Um, I thought these would last at least one night, but it looks like uh, they might be gone tonight. We'll have to see. Um, so let's get Guillermo's uh, slip back out. And then we'll roll the dice for the jump start. Odds is left, evens is right. Uh, Waffle Fries literally went to go look at his other bolts. I told you he probably went because he was so excited. It had something to do with that. So I grabbed these two from the right. Let's uh, get our packs in the same order as last time. Change things up a little bit in the middle. Good news, Waffle Fries, you can like literally just go back on YouTube and watch what he opened to see if you're interested in anything. So, let's do this. Let's finish up this first uh, Strixhaven box. Keep an eye on these packs too, man. Yeah, definitely. He's opening up uh, five more right now, so let him know if he see or you see anything. He is... Whatever words I'm supposed to say, I just said those words. We'll just go with that. Um... So let's get started. Pause, make it two jumpstart and two strict saving collectors packs, please. Sure thing, pause. Um, if you could just fill out the form on the website, that way everything is kept track of. It's coffincards.com. Um, that way I can just keep track of the schedule and everything gets taken out of inventory. We have treasure token in the back and an Augear battle seer in the front. Let's see what good hits we have in this one. We have Heated Debate, Stone Rise Spirit, Quandrix Campus, you gotta tease with the commons and uncommons, Professor's Warning, Ardent Dust Speaker, I know some people skip them, but I don't. Rip Apart, Elemental Summonings Our Lesson, 
That means we have a dramatic finale. Hopefully that's good news for this stream. I would like to have a dramatic finale. That would be fun. Any strict saving collectors left? Well, if pause gets two, looks like we have some more orders coming in. Jeremy ordered one. If pause gets two, there's five left. So if you guys could just get your orders in, um, we can get everything taken care of. Jeremy ordered some, so thank you very much, Jeremy. We'll get to those as the night goes on. Author of Shadows, that is our Commander Rare. Extreme Beer Metal. Um, I didn't see your payment come through, so if you could double check that real quick. It's the Cawthorn Cards at gmail.com. Um, once I receive that, we can get to your packs next. Um, Ecological Appreciation Extended Art Mythic. I've played this in draft. It's pretty fun. So uh, that's a neat card. Then we have an Etched Art Negate. I know it's Negate, but it sounds better fancy. Uh, I believe this is D-Spark. Well, let me double check. It is D-Spark. That's uh... I don't know what these prices are. If they're for the regular versions or the etched versions or what, but it says six bucks, so that's pretty good. Um, you're having trouble on that. Let me know what problems you're having and we can get that figured out. Um, I also have Cash App if you have that. Jeremy, thanks for stopping by. So this is spark We'll uh, get that sleeved up after we see what else is in this pack. Don't want to spoil anything. Then we have a number 86. Number 86. Paging number 86. Whirlwind Denial. Not the best, unfortunately. Then we have a Corrosion Grip uh, Pack Foil. And we have a fractal treasure token. So let's get that D spark sleeved up. Get the commons and uncommons that are unwanted out of the way. Jeremy, hope you're having a good night. Appreciate you supporting the stream. We'll get to your packs in just a few minutes. Uh, let's go with another strict saving collector for. Uh, I'll get back to you real quick. Not a problem, man. Uh, just whenever you have time. Treasure. And if we can't figure it out tonight, uh, I do stream on Mondays and Thursdays at 8.30, so we can get it the next one as well. Um, so we're starting with a Pigment Storm, Biomathematician, Star People, Big Play, Hunt for Specimens, Bookworm, that's a fun one, Reconstruct History, Necrotic Fumes Lesson, Dragon's Guard Elite Foil. That is another fun rare right there. Then we have a Witch's Clinic. This is very cool artwork. Just kind of chilling in the swamp. Uh, target commander gains lifelink until end of turn. That could be useful. We have an extended art Venerable Warslinger. A etched foil snakeskin veil. Um... I want to say Putrefy, but I don't think... Is this the right art? Number 126, that is Putrefy. That's five bucks right there, at least. And we have a Foil Agonizing Remorse. A Foil Extended Art Culling Ritual. And a Spirit Treasure Token. So now we're going to move on to a jumpstart pack. Take a quick break from um, Strixhaven Collectors. Get to the fun stuff and keep moving. We have a Doctor pack. Fortunately, this is not one of the better ones, but it does have pretty cool planes. I actually haven't seen this one before. Cradle of Vitality. That might be worth something. Um, three in white, whenever you gain life, you may pay one in white. If you do, put a one encounter on a target creature for each one life you gained. That could be pretty powerful. Um, that's pretty neat. Um, you also have a Path of Bravery. Haven't seen this one either. Two in white, as long as your life total is greater than or equal to your starting life total. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, you gain life equal to the number of attacking creatures. That's pretty awesome. We also have Griffin Airy, Al Alabaster Mage, Brightmare, Stonehaven Pilgrim. Swift Response, Revitalize, Anointed Chorister, Angel of Mercy, Bulwark Giant, Thriving Heath, Bosri's Acolyte, and the very cool 
Dr. Planes. We'll get that sent over to you as well. And then our M21 planes, no dual lands, unfortunately. I only kid, but in the first run of Jumpstart, um, the basic lands were printed over each other. So you had like a swamp and an island printed over each other. So people were joking it was a volcanic island. Let's see what we get out of this Strixhaven collector pack. This is the third of five from the second set of five. Starting out with a Combat Professor, love that in draft, amazing card. Relic Sloth, Vortex Runner, Leech Fanatic, Lorehold Campus, Detention Vortex, Silver Quill Apprentice, Basic Conjuration Lesson, that's a rare. We have a Callous Bludge Mage Pack Foil, Battle Mage's Bracers, this is a Commander card. Got pauses order and ignore what the screen says, guys. It double counts some of the stuff. I'm gonna have to fix that later. Um, but I have it right in the back and that's what matters. Uh, then we have an extended art, Plarg, Dean of Chaos. I think that's Augustine on the back. Augusta, sorry, Augusta, Dean of Order. Griffin, Aries, so good in draft. It definitely can be. So let's get those rares in your ship pile. Flarg, Dean of Chaos, we have a... Uh-oh, I can't believe I just did that. That's what it looks like he's saying. That is Agonizing Remorse, etched foil. Followed up by a Mythic etched art to Fairy's Protection. Stinks that that is not in um, the Japanese, but I think that's a good one. So the... Non etched art version is $30. So the etched art has to be worth more than that. That's an amazing hit right there. We'll get that sleeved up as soon as we look at the rest of the pack. We also have a foil thrill of possibility, a foil Urza's Rage, and a fractal inkling token. So let's get that Fairy's Protection protected. Uh, the paperwork does not do the payment. The payment is separate. You'll have to send it by PayPal or Cash App, whichever you uh, prefer. Pause. So it looks like after uh, pause pace, we have five Strixhaven collectors left at this exact moment, Chaos. So let's get these commons and uncommons out of the way. We'll head back to Jumpstart before hitting those last two Strixhaven packs for Guillermo. Guillermo, I hope you're happy with your hits so far. Looks like we've got some amazing cards out of the Strixhaven Collector's Box. Lots of great mythics, um, some fun Japanese cards between you and Waffle Fries. So let's see what we get out of this Jumpstart pack. Hopefully it is something good. Smashing. I feel like I just opened this. Oh wait, I did, sorry. Um, this one's a little different, has Volcanic Salvo, uh, Furious Rise, Unleash Fury, Blood Rage Brawler, Flame Tongue Kabu, that used to be really good when it was originally printed in Plane Shift, Heartfire Emulator, Onaki Ogre, Shock, Turret Ogre, Borderland Marauder, Fling, Thriving Bluff, Bone Pit Brute, we'll get you that Exploding Volcano Island, or er, Island, Mountain, and then our M21 lands, no misprints there. Not so smashing. No, I agree. Unfortunately, that's uh, the gamble you take with Jumpstart. There's some amazing stuff, but there's some really not amazing stuff too. But uh, either way, they're fun to open. They're not your normal pack. They uh, have some fun stuff going on, that's for sure. So second to last, uh, Strixhaven collector pack for Guillermo. We have a Lorehold Pledge Mage, Illustrious Historian, Vortex Runner, Cogwork Archivist, Tangle Trap, Test of Talents, Access Tunnel. Our lesson is reduced to memory. That means our rares next. We have a Foil Rare, Accomplished Alchemist. We have a rare Commander, Octavia Living Theus. I assume that's how you say that. That's expensive. Eight and two blue for eight eight. The spell costs eight less to cast if you have eight or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard. Ward eight. That's a lot of eights. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, target creature has base power and toughness of 8-8 eight, eight until end of turn. Very interesting. We have an extended art accomplished alchemist. They really wanted to make sure that you knew they were accomplished, so they put two in this pack for you. Followed up by a number 83. 
Uh, this person looks like they're doing something with three cards, so I assume it's one of those uh, strategic planning. Okay. That makes sense. Then we have a rare growth spiral, followed up by a foil divine gambit. At least you got the meme. Um, then Uvilda, Dean of Perfection, which on the back is... Nasari, Dino Expression. It's kind of crazy how small they make that name text to fit all that in there. A very cool card nonetheless. Um, so, let's go ahead and get back to that last pack of Strixhaven. Peddler chimes in with the strategic planning. Money was sent. Appreciate it. Paz likes that foil is it card. Maybe we'll pull you one, Paz. We'll see. So, starting this out with Guiding Voice, Rise of Exodus, Frost Trickster, Arrogant Poet, Archway Commons, Plum the Forbidden, Maelstrom Muse, Introduction to Annihilation, getting into our rares, we have a Furry Calm, or Fury Calm, I guess it's not Furry, it's Fury, Fury Calm Snarl, if it was Furry it'd probably have like a cat on it or something, Peddler would probably like it if it had a cat on it. Combat Calligrapher, the Commander Rare. Silver Quill Silencer, that's what we started out with, so it's fitting that we end with the last pack with one. It's the extended art version this time, though. We have an Etched Art Village Rights in English. We have a, I believe this is Tezzeret's Gambit, again, in um, Etched Art. Then we have a person bouncing things around. Oh, that's Shock. Um, shock pack full right there. With a foil extended art strict proctor to round things out with a spirit inkling token. Guillermo, hope uh, you're happy with those packs. I'll add these to your pile. And as I mentioned, we will get these shipped out to you on uh, probably Saturday. If I get them out tomorrow, I will. That is some pretty cool artwork right there. Really appreciate it. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. It means so much. Um, we have grown quite a bit since I started these streams. Um, it's kind of crazy, really. I think we're up to 450 subs before I logged on tonight, which is just absolutely insane. So next up, we have uh, Jeremy. Jeremy ordered a Strict Haven Collector, a Caltime Collector, and a Jumpstart Pack. Strict Proctor is great. Um, so, Jeremy, gotta crack a couple boxes to get the packs you want. Um, Waffle Fries, if you wanna check out Scryfall, that ha well, probably TCG player's gonna be best with pricing. But uh, you and Waffle Fries, Guillermo, could talk about potentially trading. I don't remember what the card of interest was, but um, I think it was, was it uh, Mizzix Mastery, maybe? Um, I didn't think we would be uh, cracking the second Caltime pack, or Caltime, Strict Saving pack, but... Uh, I guess we are. That's a good thing. Looks like I'm going to have to pick up some more. Um, Guillermo did want the Mystic Mastery. Let's get this uh, Strixhaven box opened up and then we will um, mix them up and roll the dice. Jeremy, do you want to pick what packs you want or do you want me just to roll the dice? We roll the dice in these... Uh, the only card I really needed from the bunch I got is Teferi's Protection. Well, I'm sorry we weren't able to pull more of what you needed, but hopefully you're happy with the pulls nonetheless. Um, it was a lot of fun opening them up live on stream for you. Um, but I guess what Guillermo's trying to say is he won't trade the Teferi's Protection, but pretty much everything else is on the table. Waffle fries. Let's get these mixed up real quick. Uh, front left, please. We'll do that for you. Uh, normally we mix them up, but I've got that for you pulled out. I'll mix the rest of these up and uh, go from there. 
started mixing stuff up just because uh, some people are superstitious, but we'll get that for you this time. But we'll do that on both these uh, boxes for you. And then the jump starts already been mixed up. You can pick from the left or the right or the middle. It's up to you or I can roll the dice and let the dice decide. Jeremy says, uh, Guillermo can have the Mizzix Mastery if it turns up in your pack. Well, that's generous of you. Let's get this Calheim box opened up. You happy with him? You have a bunch of cards. Yeah, cards are good. That's what we go for, right? Um, I think you guys are probably going to want to open some more Strixhaven's Collectors boxes. I was able to get these ones at an affordable price. The next ones I think are going to be a little bit more expensive. Are you guys going to be looking to uh, open up some more Strixhaven collectors on future streams? If so, I'll look into getting some more packs for y'all. Grab the front left for you here, then I'll mix up the rest, Jeremy. Let me know um, if you want left or right side in the jump start. There aren't very many packs left, so I don't think that's as big of a deal, but happy to grab from whichever side you like, or we go down the middle. It's up to you. Hand pass sounds good. From the left. So he did get a Kelheim collector, a jumpstart pack, and a Strixhaven collector. So let's go through these. See what Jeremy wants to keep. Starting out with jumpstart. See what we get. We got dragons. That's a good one, right? I haven't opened too many of these. So they're pretty rare. Let's see what we get in this dragons pack. We have a Terror of the Peaks. I think that's the best you can hope for in a dragons pack. We also have a Hellkite Punisher. Dragon Loft Idol. Rapacious Dragon. Draconic Roar. Dragon Speaker Shaman. Thrill of Possibility. Bathe in Dragonfire. Nova Surfer, thanks for stopping by. Modern Horizon 2 is not a limited print set. That's interesting. Dragon Fodder. Dragon Hatchling. Lightning Shrieker. Thriving Bluff. And the very cool Dragon Mountain. What makes it a Dragon Mountain is the uh, the Dragon Shadow on the mountain. So, uh, Pause has ordered his Modern Horizons 2 today. That's exciting, Pause. Are you guys going to want to open Modern Horizons 2 on stream? If so, I can get some in stock. Otherwise, uh, I know it's going to be more expensive, so that's why I ask. Of course, dragons. Cawthorn Curse. I don't think it's a curse. It's good. Um, so I'll send you the Dragon Mountain and Terror of the Peaks. If you want anything else out of that, Jeremy, let me know. You can keep or donate the dragons. I have so many. I appreciate it. I actually don't have that pack yet. So um, thank you very much for the donation to the stream. <laughs> so let's get to the Calheim Collector. Have an elf warrior in the back. I imagine Jeremy's probably just like everybody else hunting the Vorinclex. I've seen more than one opened in a collector box before, so that's exciting too. Starting out with a Snakeskin Veil, Battlefield Raptor, Vault Robber, a Null, Despair Sentinel, Icebind Pillar, Inga Rune Eyes, Snow Covered Plains, The Bears of Lachara is your first rare, followed by an Extended Art Runeforge Champion. We have a foil Dragon Kim Berserker. That's a very cool card. Have a showcase Inga Rune Eyes. We have a full art pathway, the Dark Boar Slither Boar pathway. I think this is the most valuable of the bunch. The artwork is amazing on both sides. So congratulations on that. 
Um, Fierce, a Judge of Valor Foil. And a Foil Extended Art, Tundra Fumeral. Also have a Spirit Elf Warrior token. Um, Jeremy has a full art foil in his Dragon EDH already. It's good for sure. Um, thank you for donating that, definitely. Peddler finally pulled the trigger in his drafting Strixhaven on Arena. That sounds like fun. So we'll get you the Tundra Fumeral, uh, the full art pathway, the Dragon Kim Berserker foil, the extended art Runeforge champion, and the Bears of Lichara. Let me know if you want anything else out of that pack. Happy to send them your way. Do need to get a slip made up for Jeremy for his pile. Been holding on to his cards for a while. Don't mind at all, but whenever you want them shipped, just let me know. That's good. Thanks. Perfect. All those are headed your way. Well, when you tell me to. All the commons and stuff will head to the donation bin. So, we're down to Jeremy's last pack of the night. Strixhaven Collector Booster. Let's see what we get out of this one. There's an Inkling token in the back. We have a Pillar Drop Rescuer in the front. Followed up by Silver Quill Pledge Mage. Arcane Subtraction. Quandrix Campus. Spring Main Servant. Umbral Juke. Lorehold Excavation. Elemental Summoning. Our first rare is Fervent Mastery. Add that to your pile. Sequence Engine, Commander Rare. Um, it's not bad, but it looks like it's a little off center there. Then we have an extended Arch Strict Proctor. Um, speaking of people happy with their polls, I think you uh, had commented about uh, Guillermo Strict Proctor, so hopefully you're happy with that one. Open for a Demonic Tutor, that would be sweet. We're starting out with an Infuriate. Then we have a guy pondering things with spirits flying around him. That guy pondering things is a dark ritual. Dang, 25 bucks. Don't know if that's the etch start price or what, but uh, that's a good one. Get that sleeved up in just a minute. Then we have a strategic planning and a foil rare lightning helix with an elemental inkling token. So let's get that uh, Dark Ritual sleeved up. That's a great hit right there. Let me know. Um, I assume you want all of the rares and the Mystical Archive cards since these are um, a basically new set. Another one had a total brain fart and ordered a box of Commander Legends draft and didn't think of lands because I mistaked it for Jumpstart, which has lands in the pack. Works for me exactly how you set them down. Awesome. And of course, the Dark Ritual, now that it's sleeved up. The foil, uh, not gonna lie, like out of the... I think I like the pack foils better. But uh, Jeremy, thank you very much for supporting the stream. I will uh, add those to your pile. Let me know whenever you want me to ship them and I will get them out to you. But until then, I'll hold on to them for you. Save you some money on shipping. So, still haven't seen New Slave City yet. Um, if I missed them, let me know. So, Pause Brown ordered some packs. Let's get to uh, Pause up next. Pause, appreciate you supporting the stream. Means a lot coming from a fellow YouTuber like you. If you guys haven't had a chance yet, go check out Pause Brown over on YouTube. He's got a fun channel, does pack openings and all sorts of fun stuff. So, um, you go a few more packs before you ship this first bunch. Not a problem at all. Happy to do that for you. Paws got two Jumpstart packs. He also got uh, two Strict Saving Collector Boosters. So that's um, and Paws wants all the cards opened. So that is not a problem at all. Paws. No problem not being on, bud. We all have busy lives. Um, 
I'm here no matter what. So when you guys can hop in, that's great. When you can't hop in, just catch it next time, you know? Um, so let's go ahead and get these two Strict Saving Collectors and two Jumpstart Packs for Paws. Apologize that my spreadsheet's having some issues. I'll have to get that fixed before next time. So, pause. We have our remaining Jumpstart Packs out of this box. We can let the dice choose, or you can choose. Um, these have been shuffled just like the Strict Saving Collectors have been. So uh, let me know which ones you want from Jumpstart and get your two packs pulled out there. You guys are watching over on YouTube. If you haven't yet, if you click that thumbs up button would really help me out. Um, and if for anybody who's not subscribed, would definitely appreciate a subscription. So three and four, I assume we're going from the left are these two, I'll grab them out for you. If those were incorrect, let me know. Happy to pull some different ones. Um, so this is a Strixhaven box. We have two, four, six on the left, and two, four, five on the right. So let me know which of those you'd like, and I'll pull those out for you. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to email New Slave City real quick. Um, So let me know, pause, which of these uh, Strict Saving packs you want, and I'll pull this out for you. Jeremy over on YouTube says, good luck, pause. Cracking Good Times says, go pause. So you got a lot of support looking at these uh, polls for you tonight. Emily says hello, collector's pack, back left and second to back right. So we'll take from the back left all the way over here. And back second from right. Pause says thank you everybody over on YouTube. So we have pauses four packs. Let's split them up. We'll start with jump start, see what we can pull. Thanks for stopping by, Emily. Definitely appreciate it. Hope you're having a good night so far. You did stumble into some packs being open. We've already opened a whole entire collector's box of um, Strixhaven. We have a Vampire's Pack. This could have Exquisite Blood. Let's see if we pull it. We don't, but it's a Mythic, so that's uh, pretty good too. We have Drana Liberator of Malachar. Silver Smoke Ghoul. Bloodbond Vampire. Falconrath Noble. Gifted Aetherborn, Sanguine Indulgence, Agonizing Siphon, Child of Night, Last Gasp, Mark of the Vampire, Nocturnal Feeder, Thriving Moor, Gloom Sower, it's Sower, not Sour, Ask MTG Gaming Bob. And then a very cool Jumpstart land right there. And then our M21 lands. Pause ordered. All card ships, so we'll make sure he gets all these. Let me get this uh, Durana in a sleeve real quick. Pause. Um, I know you normally like your cards shipped out, so let me know if you want them shipped out. I'll get it done, but uh, you did pay for all cards to be shipped, so if you want to combine shipping on a couple streams, you could save some money that way. That's totally up to you. Let's grab a slip for pause, and we'll get his stack started. Thank you again for supporting the stream pause. Really appreciate it. So that land is very Castlevania. Next up, we're opening pauses first. Um, you don't want the commons. Okay, I can take those out. I assume that means you don't want the M21 lands as well. I will send you the thriving land. I know you like those.
So I have all the uncommons and the rare, the jumpstart swamp and the thriving swamp, as well as the vampire title card. Extreme Beer Metal says he believes his payment went through. Let me double check real quick. I do see that. We'll uh, get you taken care of. I assume this is you. I'll double check um, the spreadsheet before we get started, but it looks like the right payment amount. So we'll get that taken care of here in a few minutes. Uh, pause is right. Perfect. Chaos is happy. So let's get into pauses first. Pack. Very cool. We have a sweet emblem to start things off. That's always nice when you get one of the rare emblems. We have a uh, Rowan Scholar of Sparks. I'm hoping the other side is Will, but we'll have to wait to find out. No problem about a delay at all, but um, I'm here until we're done. And if we didn't get it done today, we can get it done next stream too. So definitely appreciate you supporting the stream extreme or supporting the stream extreme beer metal. And uh, we'll get to your packs in a few minutes. So we're starting with Stonebound Mentor, Dragon's Approach. Because these are foils, I assume you want everything pause. Exhilarating Elocution, Stonerize Spirit, Promising Dusk Mage, Snow Day, Killian Ink Duelist. This is one of my uh, favorite draft cards right here. This is a lot of fun to play with for sure. Then we have Introduction to Prophecy Lesson. We're getting into our rares. We're starting out with a Rushed Rebirth Strixhaven Foil Rare. It's a regular pack foil. Then we have Angel of the Ruins. I know Paz loves him some angels. Cracking Good Times asks, is Dragon Approach still holding value? I'm not sure. Um, if somebody can look that up, that would be great. So Angel of the Ruins is the commander card. It's 5-7 for 5 and 2 white flying. When Angel of the Ruins enters the battlefield, exile up to 2 target artifacts and or enchantments. Plane Cycling too. Um, I don't know what Plane Cycling is, but I assume it has something to do with planes. Um, this is the extended art version, so hopefully you're happy to add that to your collection. Pause. Wow, we have a mythic full art Harness of Fiddy. If that's not a beautiful card, I do not know what is. This is by Seb McKinnon. I know Paz loves his artwork, so I'm sure he'll be happy to add this one to his collection. Congrats on the full art mythic right there. Emily says, the first thing I want to do when I buy a pack is I want to buy a pack for someone else. That sounds like a very nice gesture. We have an etched art strategic planning for our first mystical archive card. Followed up by what I assume is Electrolyze based on its mana cost, but we will double check. This is number 123. This is Electrolyze. That's four bucks right there. I'm not sure if that's the non-etched or the etched price, but very cool card. And we have a Foil Agonizing Remorse. And that one we talked about before that I can't remember is Dark Ritual. Nice, pause. That's a great hit right there. Um, I don't know if the etched or the pack foil is better. Unfortunately, that is not the other emblem. But uh, let's get that Dark Ritual sleeved up for you, bud. Congratulations. Paul says that's his second harness, but uh, the foil, foily foily Japanese Dark Ritual. That's where the real good stuff is in this pack. So congratulations to you on that one pause hopefully you're happy with that dark ritual add these to your pile cracking good times is nice and then when he saw the dark ritual he was like nice chaos got so happy that he typoed um the ritual i'm not let me i'll pull up tcg player because i'm not sure exactly how this works but I know the Japanese version is definitely worth money. Um, so I want to look at foil. Let me, I'll just look it up. Hold on. So we want dark ritual. We want Japanese alternate art. We do not want foil etched. So according to this, the foil is selling the cheapest one is $36 on TCG player. Another one says, Oh shoot, dark ritual Japanese art foil is $39. So uh, pause that paid for a good chunk of your packs right there alone. So congratulations on that. Definitely paid for the pack you opened it in. 
Next up we have Paz's second jumpstart pack. Maybe we can add some more fire. Paz says, oh wow, okay. Yeah, Dark Ritual, I'm pretty sure is played in a lot of formats. And then when you get the super fancy art plus foil, um, people are gonna wanna bling out their decks. So when it's a playable card like that, compared to something like, I don't know, Divine Gambit, um, you're definitely gonna get a big premium on it. So congratulations on that. Hopefully no Voldemort at the Wizard Cup. We got a Cats pack. Um, this is one of the rare packs. There are two variants of rare packs. We have a Lurking Predators with a Feline Sovereign, Enlarge, Keeper of Fables, Nature's Way, Paws is Happy, Canopy Stalker, I would be too, Pride Malkin, I know he said he didn't want the commons, Crushing Canopy, Feral Invocation, Initiate's Companion, Penumbra Bobcat, I think that's how you say that. Thriving Grove, I know he likes the Thriving Land, so we'll throw that in. Feral Prowler. And then we got the forest that has the little, not so little, big cat hiding in the background. And we have our M21 forest right there. Emily was not expecting that. You get a jumpstart or collector? Chaos, that's totally up to you, bud. Whatever you are interested in. So, pause's last pack of the night, another Strixhaven Collector pack. Let's see what we can get. Starting out with the Inkling in the back, we have a Lorehold Pledge Mage in the front. Let's see what else we get. Pilgrim of the Ages. Varian Books, Witherbloom Campus, Charge Through, Secret Rendezvous, Decisive Denial, Spirit Summonings Are Lessons, so, uh, here we go. Oh, how did the Wizard Cup go? Sorry, Emily, I missed that uh, message. Paz said he wanted this is a card. Well, he got it, so congratulations, Paz. The Wizard Cup, I went 6-0. I won the whole thing. I'm a three-time Wizard Cup champion. It was awesome. So this is Uvilda Dina per, um, Perfection on this side. And the other side is Nasari Dean of Expression. So I said, Paz, maybe we'll get that for you. And we did. So uh, congratulations there. Then we have a creative technique. That is your commander extended art rare. We have Quandrix command extended art. That's a fun one right there. Then we have kitty cat getting angry at the world. Um, that's number 109. That is thrill of possibility. Then we have primal command etched art. That's number 55. Not a huge hit, but a fun one to play with, that's for sure. And then we have Uncommon number 81. Guy doing stuff with somebody else in the background. Um, this is Negate, also known as Negate, if you want to be fancy. we got a Foil Negate. And then we have a Foil Extended Art Elite Spellbinder. This is a great card. Love playing it in Standard. This is Paulo. Victor Dama De Rosa, world champion number 26 and foil extended art. Uh, Chaos says I willed it into being. And we have the elemental inkling token. So pause, I hope you're happy with all your hits tonight. Got them in your pile. Let me know if you want me to uh, ship them out ASAP or if you want me to hold on to them for another stream. Either way, I will get it taken care of for you. So thank you very much for supporting the stream, pause. Really appreciate it. Next up, we have Extreme Beer Metal. Let's make sure he's still hanging out with us. Um, I did see the payment come through. Just want to verify the email with the payment I received, and then we can get started there. Yep, send them out. Sounds good. I'll write that on your slip. Sounds like I have a post office run to do, guys. So two Theros Beyond Death, to Throne of Eldraine with hits only to Extreme Beer Metal that matches up. 
still waiting to uh where's peddler and his feline family he's drafting over on arena so i'm sure he's uh paying attention over there right now looks like guillermo might have sent through something else gotta go get my hump day video going want to crack some packs have fun pause thank you very much for supporting the stream Uh, getting confused with all my tabs here, guys. Looks like Guillermo bought some packs for somebody else, maybe? Um, Extreme Beer Metal is here. He's ready. So let's go ahead and pull those packs. Two Theros Beyond Deft and two Throne of Eldraine Draft. Let me grab those boxes so we can discuss which packs you're opening. I don't know why Theros is one of the more fuller boxes. It's actually probably one of the higher EV sets out there. We can go from the left to right or anywhere in the middle that you want. Or I can roll the dice and we can pick it up. Did someone steal your credit card number? Um, maybe it's a different Guillermo? Hold on, guys. He's kidding. Okay, good. <laughs> um... So, do you want left? Do you want right? Um, you didn't buy anymore. Oh, it's it must be somebody else then. Since the shadow sphere come in middle, do you want a certain number from the left or right, or do you want me to just pull them from right here? So I can pull these two for you if that's what you want. Oh, M memo G. There we go. Okay. Jump start for Memo G. There's two in chat. Sorry about that, uh, Memo. Didn't mean to out you there. Um, when you guys send payments, if you could um, make sure not to leave any notes on there. That would definitely help me out. Make sure my account doesn't get flagged. So Extreme Beer Metal, if these two packs are good, let me know. Memo, thank you for stopping by and supporting the stream. We'll get to your packs in just a minute. I'm going to take these packs for Extreme Beer Metal right there. Okay, good. Now let's get the throne box. You want middle out of these two? We can go like right here if you want. Got two oracles off Theros. Great packs. That is awesome. And then Extreme Beer Metal, are you going to want me to ship these right away or are you going to want me to hold on to them so you can get more packs on a future stream and combine money and save on shipping? Those are good. Perfect. Let's get cracking. So, let's start with Throne. These are Japanese made packs, so we're going to have to move the rare to the back. And potentially a foil, or an uncommon. We'll find out. Starting out with a band card, Lucky Clover. Trail of Crumbs. Mysterious Pathlighter, that means we should have a foil in the back. Steel Gaze Griffin. Steel Gaze Griffin. Festive Funeral. Henge Walker. Garen Briggs Squire, Weaselback Redcap, Youthful Knight, Scalding Cauldron, Queen of Ice, Fortifying Provisions. We have a Goat Token. I don't think I've seen that one yet, so that is pretty cool right there. Ship now, not a problem. Have a Swamp. Have a Foil Showcase Fairy Guide Mother. That is very cool. And then we have a Wildborn Preserver Rare. So our hits out of there will be the Foil Fairy Guide Mother and the Wildborn Preserver. 
Let me know if you want anything else out of that pack. Be happy to send it to you. Get a slip going for you. Emily has to sign off. Have a good night. Appreciate it, Emily. And these are ship. Just let me know if uh, you want anything other than those two hits. Or if you saw anything worth over a dollar. Happy to send them out to you. Sorry, couldn't stay long. Not a problem, Emily. Let's get to our second El Terrain pack while Extreme Beer Metal is deciding what he wants out of that first one. I know there is some lag between when I open and YouTube, so just let me know if you have any questions. Happy to go back over that for you. Starting with Sire Allen, The Lion's Claw, Savvy Hunter, Burning Yard Trainer, that means we have another foil. Giant Skewer, Unexplained Vision, Hengewalker, Insatiable Appetite, Weaselback Redcap, Bling, Misford River Turtle, Outflank, Golden Egg, a Food Token, a Very Sweet Looking Island, we got a Foil Rare, Sundering Stroke. Um, haven't seen that one played very often, so I'm not sure it's good and maybe some non-standard formats or not but we'll add that to your pile and then we have an Ayara first of locked Wayne definitely see that being played right now in the pest decks very cool hit so add that to your pile as well if you wanted anything else out of that pack let me know happy to add it for you moving into Theros beyond death I believe these are the good old English packs so the rare should already be in the back for us Looks like it is starting with un or with commons like we should. We're starting with Triton Wave Rider, Incendiary Oracle, Moss Viper. You'll go with the basics. Okay, so we'll just go with what I popped out. If there's anything else you see or look up that's worth over a dollar, happy to ship that as well. Not super familiar with the values on the uncommons and whatnot. Scavenging Harpy, Hero of the Pride, Chain to Memory, Farika's Libation, Hyrax Tower Scout. Wings of Hubris, Flicker of Fate, Calafi, Beloved of the Sea, I'm sure I said that wrong, Hero of the Winds, Nessian Wanderer, our rare is Treacherous Blessing, we have a mountain, happy to send that to you if you want to, I know these mountains are worth uh, more than a regular standard land, so we'll just go ahead and add that to your pile, and then the wall token, if you want that, let me know as well. But usually we just ship the rares, the foils, the mythics, and anything worth over a dollar. But obviously in Theros, the lands are worth about a dollar, so happy to throw those in as well. Next up we have Wrap in Flames, Sentinel's Eyes, Riptide Turtle, Stampede Rider, Nyxborn Colossus, Scavenging Harpy, Return to Nature, Flummox Cyclops, Magus's Favor, Elspeth's Nightmare, Hero of the Nyxborn, Field of Ruin, Citizen Champion Rare, that one's definitely played, a Foil Rare, Shatter the Sky, wow, two Foil Rares and four packs, that is awesome, Shatter the Sky is definitely played too, I've seen it in Yorian a lot I believe, and then a Forest, and a Satter Token, so uh, if you see anything, any uncommons or tokens or anything you wanted, let me know. You'll take the Theros lands and tokens, please. Okay, so we'll send you all the tokens. And the Theros lands. You have the wall token, the Satter token, the food token, and the goat token. Your foil rare ratio is legit. Yeah, you did a great job there. Um, everything else we will add to the common and uncommon bulk pile so thank you very much for supporting the stream extreme beer metal um i have these noted to get them shipped out to you so we will take care of that sometime in the next couple days um 
Chaos says my form's not updated on the website. What um, part of the form is not updated? So the form doesn't auto update. It goes based off of, um, it's just there. The inventory here is live. So this is what we still have available. I do have another box of Jumpstart I just got in. So if you guys want more than one pack of Jumpstart, let me know. Um, I'll just go ahead and add another box on here now. How about that? So we have 25 packs of Jumpstart available. Beginner's luck for you. Well, congratulations. I don't care what you call it. It's awesome. I'm very happy that you got the polls that you were uh, happy with. We'll get them shipped out to you soon. So uh, Memo G is up next. Appreciate uh, you supporting the stream, Memo G. Sorry about the confusion earlier. We had uh, somebody else in chat with a very similar name. Um... So we have up to six cards and a plain white envelope shipping for you with two jumpstart packs. There are three left in this box. We'll call them number one, two, and three. Left, right, middle. Let me know which two you want and we will get those open for you. Chaos, I haven't seen anything from you, but uh, let me know what issues you're having and I will uh, clarify anything or get it taken care of for you. Hope everybody's having a fun time tonight. I know I am getting to see lots of amazing cards, especially the Strict Saving Collector Packs. Um... Hopefully everybody else is having a good time. I know we were talking earlier about Modern Horizons 2. They leaked some stuff, uh, lots of variants of fetch lands. You got the extended art, the regular frame, and they're also doing the old art frame. And then of course you're gonna get foils too. So those are gonna be pretty uh, high in demand, I would imagine. Probably pick up some boxes for the stream if anybody's interested in picking those up. Once they release, they will be a little more expensive though, unfortunately. Um, if anybody has any interest in picking up a lot of Modern Horizons 2, let me know so I can get them in inventory. Otherwise, I'll probably just pick up a box of each. Um, so just let me know which packs you want. We have three here to choose from. We can go left, right, middle. So let me know which three you want, uh, Memo, and then we'll get started. And I apologize to uh, Guillermo for our Mixing people up. You guys will take over the world. That sounds good to me. As long as y'all are cool people, which I'm sure you are because you're hanging out with us live on stream. So we got two jumpstart packs for Memo G. Let's get these cracked and see what we get. There's only one lonely pack left in the box. Another one says, wait, they're reprinting fetch lance. Oh shoot, they've never done that before. Oh wait, it's like the hundredth time. These are the enemy fetch lance. It will be the first time they are in the old um, frame. Thanks for the good times, Coffin Room. Headed out. Good luck, everyone. Thank you, Kraken. Good times. Appreciate it. Starting out with a feathered friends pack today. You get up to six cards, so let me know which ones you want. I'll pull out the rares and the jumpstart land. I assume those are the big ones you want. Archon of Justice. Archon of Redemption. You also have Falconer Adept. Aegis of the Heavens, Dauntless Onslaught, Sky Tether, Concordia Pegasus, Warded Battlements, Gale Swooper, Aerial Assault, Healer's Hawk, Thriving Heath, you might want that, let me know if you do, um, Celestial Enforcer, and then the very cool Feathered Friends Planes. I also have M21 Planes, nothing fancy going on there. Time for this second jumpstart pack. Let's see what else we can pull Memo G tonight. 
we have devilish see what variant this one is we have brash taunter traitor's greed dance with devils chained brute spiteful prankster havoc jester hobble fiend pitchburn devils active treason collateral damage lightning core excavator thriving bluff torch fiend in the devilish mountain throw that in your stack as well in our m21 mountains so um this is what i pulled aside let me know if you want a sixth card or if you want anything different i got your three rares archon of justice archon of redemption and brash Tonner. i have your two jumpstart specific uh planes and i'm happy to throw in one more card into that envelope that's the most i can get and keep it under an ounce let me know if those are good or if you want a sixth card we can always throw in the thriving heath or thriving bluff those are pretty popular choices or if there was a specific other card you wanted happy to throw that in as well While we're waiting, go ahead and uh, message Chaos, see what he was talking about. Hopefully I'm not disconnected from chat, not seeing anything come through right now. Looks like we had a new subscriber while we were live, so thank you to the new subscriber, really appreciate it. Uh, just for people that are not familiar, we do stream on Mondays and Thursdays at 8.30 Eastern Time. Um, you're trying to decide what you want. Not a problem, man. Just let me know whenever you're ready. We have uh, plenty of Strixhaven set in draft packs. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go, I need a brush toner. I'll take Thriving Heath, sounds good. So we got you your six cards, I will get those shipped out. Halfway to 500, almost time for the AMA. Yes, it is, I'm surprised we're at. Are we at 450 already? That's crazy. Appreciate everybody who's watching live with us right now. Um, New Slave City has not shown up. Was hoping for Rhystic Study, but here's the next time. Wow, we're at 456 already. That's crazy. Looks like uh, Chaos has come through. He wants Strict Saving Collector in that last Jumpstart pack out of that box. Um, I guess New Slave City forgot we were streaming tonight. I'm going to... Uh, if you hit refresh, Jerry, I think you'll see we're at 456. I just logged into my back end here on YouTube, and that's what it's saying. We're at live, so that is very cool. Growing like crazy. Appreciate all y'all's support. Whenever you watch a video and click that thumbs up button, leave a comment or just watch the whole video. It really helps YouTube know that people like my content, and it makes it so they show it to more people. So uh, definitely appreciate all your support. Memo is hoping for a Rhystic Study. Yeah, that's what Chaos is hoping for as well. You know, out of all the boxes I've opened, I've opened like three Allosaurus Shepherds uh, for people. I've opened quite a few Phyrexian packs for people. I've only, I think I've only ever opened one Rhystic Study. So that's kind of crazy. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Um, Waiting for Chaos to finish up his process over there, and then we'll get started with him. Chaos says, let's do this.
one second chaos. If anybody's a cryptocurrency fan, that stuff's been going crazy lately. So Chaos, is there a particular Strixhaven pack you want? We have, um... One, two, three, four, five on the left, and one, two, three, four on the right. Jerry's gotta go, have a nice night. Appreciate it, Jerry, thanks for stopping by. I choose, well, I never choose. I've learned my lesson the hard way. We'll roll the dice. Um, we get odds, we'll start from the left front. Or we'll get the left front pack if we're evens, we're the back right pack. Evens, 12, that's the back right pack. And I've got good news for you, Chaos. Picking the jumpstart pack is easy, because there's one left. So, appreciate you guys buying out this box of jumpstart. Here it is. There it goes. So much stuff I need from Jumpstart and my shops are dried. It's a shame. Well, I've got 24 more packs sitting here in my house. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, we'll see how long they last. Jumpstart is a great set. So let's see what Chaos gets from Jumpstart. Hoping for good stuff. We have Dogs. Dogs has a really cool land. I'm not sure what the rares are in this. I think there's a couple fun ones. Let's see, we have Pack Leader, Selfless Savior, Afa Guard Hound, Release the Dogs. I think that is worth a couple bucks because it's a Jumpstart specific card. The Ply Runner is also a Jumpstart specific card. Secure the Scene, Feet of Resistance, Alpine Watchdog, Cathar's Companion, Rambunctious Mutt, Trusty Retriever, Pacifism, Thriving Heath, and the very, very cool doggo planes so chaos i will add this to your stack we'll figure out shipping later as we've mentioned before none of these planes are misprinted unfortunately let's get to the fun stuff the strict saving pack another one says "Ooh, doggo planes chaos says oof good boy So here's our Strixhaven Collector Pack. Got a treasure token in the back, Chaos. Hopefully there's a treasure in this pack. Starting out with the eager first year. Everybody's eager when they first start their first job and then they figure out how it really works. Eureka Moment, Spiteful Squad, Burrog the Fuddler. Doggo Planes are actually 350 non-foil. That's not bad. Unwilling Ingredient, Flunk, Return Pass Collar, Foil Lesson is Pest Summoning. Now we move on to the rares. Starting out with a Double Major, that year first year would not be so eager if they were a Double Major. We have uh, Layla, the Blade Reforged, uh, Commander Rare. Let's look that one up. I think I heard something about her. Pardon me while I look this one up. This is number 380 extended art form. Uh, Layla the Blade Reforged, not super spicy. Exponential growth, extended art. It's a fun card for sure. Then we have a uncommon number 120. Um, this one is Snakeskin Veil, etched foil. 
Then we have a rare etched art harmonize. We have a foil uncommon. Number 86. That is whirlwind denial. And our last card is a foil extended art mythic planeswalker slash dog. You have a dog theme going on tonight. Um, this is Mila and Luca. Number 277. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm looking up Mila and Luca. That's what I'm doing. This one, extended art foil is $17.07. So I would say you did not get wrecked. I'd say you did pretty decent with these uh, packs. Not amazing, but decent. I'll get that sleeved up for you, and then we have the Fractal Treasure Token. All right, going for two more. Let's go Demonic Tutor. That's what I like to hear. Demonic Tutor would love to pull that. That would be absolutely amazing for the stream. Thank you uh, for your support, Chaos. As always, really appreciate it. Chaos was probably one of my first subscribers. Found me way back when I was probably definitely under... 100, probably under 50, maybe even like one of the first 25. He uh, sniffs out new creators, that's for sure. So Guillermo wants to find some good stuff. Well, let's see what we can do for him. We got two more Strixhaven collector packs. Let me just look at my back end real quick, make sure everything came through as intended. We got it, so let's get going. So we are down to only two more Strixhaven Collector Packs available. I know I have more in this box, but some of them are already spoken for. So we have five on the left, three on the right. Let me know which ones you want. Also happy to roll. I believe we rolled last time. So I go ahead and get the roll out of the way. Then let me know if those are the ones you want. If we roll odds, we'll go from the front left. If we go evens, we'll grab two from the back right. We have just off camera a seven. Lucky number seven. That's the front left. He says roll the die. We did. Grab the front two. Let's go for that demonic tutor. Hopefully it's somewhere in this box. Hopefully, it's in one of these two packs right here. We're about to find out. Let's open these up for Guillermo. Once again, appreciate you supporting the stream. Looks like we got another one of those tokens. Unfortunately, they, uh, or emblem, sorry. They have a line down the back, which is, I've just seen, I've seen it all the time, unfortunately. Um, so if you want this Luca emblem, let me know. Happy to send it to you. Starting out with a Sudden Breakthrough, Blood Researcher, Serpentine Curve, Reckless Amplomancer, Professor's Warning, Mascot Interception, Quandrix Apprentice, Containment Breach is our lesson, so now we're getting into the fun stuff. Darnell is guessing Inquisition of Kozilek. We have a Rare Foil Culmination of Studies, a Rare Reinterpret from the Commander decks that's the extended art version we just pulled this but in, in uh foil for chaos but you get the non-foil mila and luca um another one says good luck romero so there's luca's emblem and there's luca you're definitely going to get that emblem now because you're going to need it we have a defiant strike etched english version followed up by a rare number 108 Rare number 108, what are you? Let's look. That is Stone Rain, etched foil. Followed up by an uncommon number 72. I think this is probably Revitalize. It is. And then we have Red White, is that Lightning Helix? Number 125, it is Lightning Helix. Wow, that's a $21 card, it must see play. 
get that sleeved up for you. And then we have the Fractal Luca token. Get you that Defiant Strike as well. The commons and uncommons we'll get rid of. Chaos has to go. Thanks for uh, supporting the stream tonight, Chaos. Hope you're happy with your hits. We'll figure out all the shipping stuff later, as usual. So congratulations on that Lightning Helix foil. Pretty much paid for the pack. It's probably worth more than what I said. I think that's just the base version if you open the set or draft packs and you don't get the etched or the foil. So I think that foil Lightning Helix is probably worth even more. Waffle's still here. I'll trade him that for the Mizzet. Waffle Fries, you still hanging out? You want a Lightning Helix? I don't think he's here, but... Uh, we'll see if he pops up. So getting to the last pack of Strixhaven Collectors that uh, Guillermo's ordered. I guess I should say last pack this time, because there's still two packs left in the box available to be purchased. Starting out with the Allen Shield Mage, Blood Age General, Curate, Leyline Invocation, Novice Dissector, Fortifying Drought, Spell Satchel, Inkling Summoning. Our first rare is Hall of Oracles Foil. We have Cunning Rhetoric Extended Art. A Vine Glimmer Snarl Extended Art. An Etched Art English Eliminate. I think this is Sign and Blood number 95. It is Sign and Blood. That's at least seven bucks right there. Then we have this one. Is that Shock number 107? It is Shock. Shock Foil right there. Followed up with a Mythic number 99, that is Chaos Warp, at least 22 bucks right there. Snarls do look so nice. DJ Longhair, thanks for stopping by. Inuyasha. I think that's who did the art on one of these. Um, so let's get that Chaos Warp sleeved up for you. I'm pretty sure this is the, the price I quoted was the regular version. Let's look up that Chaos Warp and see what it's worth in foil. Let's look up that Lightning Helix, too. Yerba says, holy... Mm. <laughs> Doesn't offend me, but I just don't want to say it for the YouTube purposes. Um, Waffle Fries is nice. Waffle Fries, you are around. I think he was interested in trading that foil Lightning Helix for your... Uh, Whatever that card was. Let's look up Lightning Helix first. So we want the Japanese alternate art, because that was not the etched foil version. So the foil version of the basic Lightning Helix is 2548 on TCG player. And then let's look up the foil chaos warp. $38 for the Chaos Warp, another one you needed. Congratulations. Glad we were able to pull that for you. Um, yep, about 38 sounds right. Congratulations. Yes, trade is good to grow. I assume trade is good. Um, so we wanted to trade Guillermo's Lightning Helix Foil. Find Waffle Fries Pile, just one second guys. Or Waffle Fries, not Lightning Bolt. For this one, let me double check, make sure it's the right number. Number 106, that's Mystic's Mastery for the Lightning Helix. So, just to verify if you can both say this, okay. Waffle Fries, you're giving the Mystic's Mastery for Guillermo's Lightning Helix. If you both say, okay, I'll switch piles and we'll get them sent out to the appropriate people. Not your bolt. <laughs> Thank you. 
Guillermo says that's okay. Just waiting on waffle fries to give the okay. Thank you. Trade sounds good to me. So the Lightning Helix is going on waffle fries stack now. And uh, Mizzix Mastery is going into Guillermo's pile. Congratulations, guys. You both got something you wanted for your collections. We made the switch. Sorry for the caps. I love the drama. Drama is good YouTube. So thank you for the drama. Sorry, COVID restrictions prohibit pile swaps. Good news is there's no interaction. I take care of everything. One person, not a problem. Um, so yeah, we got that taken care of. There's only two packs of strict saving collectors left. I assume you guys are going to want some more for some future streams, so I'm going to have to find another source. The place I bought them from are sold out. Were the packs six feet apart? Sure. I mean, we could get some little tiny feet and put them on here, and they can be six feet apart. Um, New Slave City has already spoken for four of the six remaining collector's packs, so there's two more to go tonight if anybody's interested in those. Looks like we don't have any other orders coming in at this time, so happy to chat about anything anyone is interested in. Magic the Gathering. Or anything else. Um, I think everybody's had a great time tonight. I know I have. Um, if I get some more strict save in collectors, they're probably going to be a little bit more expensive. Maybe another dollar to a pack, because the place I got them from... Like I mentioned before, it's out of stock, so I'm going to have to find a source for some more. But uh, these have definitely been fun to open, so I want to make sure we can keep them on the schedule for you guys. Um, does anybody else want to open up anything tonight, or are we done for the evening? I'm good either way. If you want to chat about magic stuff, happy to do that too. It's been a lot of fun opening up all these packs. We've had quite a few fun uh, Strixhaven pulls, that's for sure. Um, have some packaging up to do tomorrow to get stuff to the post office for my weekly Saturday run. Um, but I will get those shipped out. Got to call it a night. Just want to say your stream has become a staple of my Mondays and Thursdays. Thank you. Thank you, Waffle Fries. Really appreciate it. Gary says I'm heading off. Thanks for everything, Cotton. Have a good night, all. Sounds like we're probably shutting things down, guys, unless New Slave City pops up in the next couple minutes. Um, don't anticipate that happening. He's normally here pretty early when uh, he does show up, so we'll save those for the next stream. Or I can do a video. Darnell says, back to work for me. Well, I appreciate everybody hanging out. Um, as I mentioned, we do stream on Mondays and Thursdays at 8.30 Eastern Time. We also do this daily pack cracking stream, so you guys can click those thumbs up buttons whenever you watch them. really helps me out, and if you leave a comment, that helps too. Uh, appreciate all the support for the stream. Everybody who purchased packs tonight, let's go through and thank everybody individually. Whoops, don't want to do that here. Um, let's go ahead and thank everybody real quick. We had Guillermo, Memo, Chaos, Pause, Shin, or Jeremy Shin, um, Extreme Beer Metal, and Waffle Fries purchasing packs tonight. So thank you very much for supporting the stream. Really appreciate it. Also want to thank everybody who just came to hang out and chat. We had Chaos and Pause. As well as Nova Surfer 83 over on Twitch tonight, as well as Frontier Kitty, who is just lurking, but definitely appreciate it. Over on YouTube, we had quite a few people. We had Waffle Fries, Darnell, another, another one. Um, and sorry if I miss everybody, it's a long list. We had Memoji hanging out, cracking good times. Jerry was here, as always. Emily stopped by for a while, as she always does as well. Um, Jeremy is here. Purchase some packs. We also had MTG Peddler. If you guys haven't had a chance, make sure to check out MTG Peddler and Paws Brown on YouTube. They're great channels. Uh, I'm sure you would enjoy their content. Um, MTG Geek stopped by. Nicholas stopped by for a little bit as well. And that's as far back as my chat history goes. So thank you very much. Memo has to take a late final. Be here next stream. Sounds good. Appreciate everybody. Hope you have a good night and we will catch you next time. Have a good one. If I could find my off button. Where are you off button? I'm still rolling, peddler.
Um, haven't shut it down yet. About to, if there's anything you want to talk about. We opened a lot of fun stuff tonight. Um, less than three to everyone. Good night. <laughs> less than three. That's great. How'd your uh, draft go, peddler? We'll just chat offline. There's too much delay to do this talking back and forth here. So I'll catch you offline. Have a good one. Uh, we'll see you guys on Monday if I don't do a pop-up draft stream over the weekend. Appreciate y'all. Have a good night. Here's 500 subscribers.